Have you ever had a shooting stretch like this? I think it's now at this point uh, 19 for 62. Uh, you know, the expectations on me are going to be sky high. Um, and I try to utilize their aggression against them and still put my teammates in great positions while still being aggressive. I'm trying to do it all. So, um, you know, for me, the 22 shots, you know, I should have shot 30. You know, it, it really not great of a shooter. So I, I think that just the consistency of just going at it, staying aggressive is always going to put us in a great position. Kyrie, a bomb! Oh! Straight fire! Oh my goodness. We're getting into a freaking Kyrie Irving video. Someone who has just been on both ends of the spectrum for me. I can't stand him, and there's times where I love the guy. And we are officially back into I hate him. He is Carmelo Anthony 2.0. You're looking at me like I'm probably crazy right now. I'm more than excited to bash on this guy because he is the definition of Carmelo Anthony to a T. I think he's a slightly better offensive talent and a better overall player with more ways to score, but that's debatable. The main issue with this guy is he is a loser. He has no leadership qualities, and if you believe that he does, I want you to take one moment. I want you to step back and think about something just to yourself. Take the love away. What has he done by himself? He's taken arguably one of the most talented rosters in the NBA underperformed with it all year, then beat an Indiana Pacers team without Victor Oladipo, and then they proceeded to get smacked around by the Bucs. Uh, do or die, their final game, second half, what does he come out and do? An astonishing two points in the second half. This guy can't play basketball, all right? He's a great, he's, he's, He's a great second player. He is an excellent Scottie Pippen to a Michael Jordan. He is an excellent Kyrie Irving to a LeBron James. This guy is an absolute loser. He has a huge chip on his shoulder, but he acts like he's such a star. He goes around walking, oh, I ha I'm a genius. I have one of the highest basketball IQs. Yeah, bud, that basketball IQ did real excellent for you while you shot below 35%. Again, and again, and again. I bet that really helped you at those two second half points. And I bet you are very excited to go leave Boston. Because Boston doesn't want you. And you can go lose on whatever team you choose to next. Unless you want to go be LeBron James's little child again for him. Oh my goodness, watching George Hill take Kyrie Irving to school in that final game was one of the funniest things in my life. Kyrie, man, you got to play a little bit better out there. It is what it is, bro. And don't forget about Gordon Hayward. Gordon Hayward can be its own separate video. Him and Kyrie Irving are the two big issues on this Celtics team, and both issues need to be addressed in this offseason. And I'm hoping, all against all hope, that Kyrie Irving, he will be gone. He will not be returning. The main thing he said was, if you'll have me, I'll be back. Guess what, Kyrie? The Boston Celtics fans, they do not want you. I've never seen a guy who can act like you and still try to act like you're humble. You're out there all the time acting like you're so gifted that you're ready to take the reins, be the leader, and then you call up LeBron and you apologize. Okay, it shows some maturity. Then you're saying, well, the team isn't doing good, and you're throwing the team under the bus. And then you don't ever put yourself in a leadership role. You talk about the young guys. They have to learn to get better. Kyrie, how about this? Those young guys, they played a lot better than you did in this playoffs, bud. Why don't you score two more points in our final half together? Goodbye, Kyrie. Your time with the Boston Celtics may not have been a long one, but it sure was memorable. Brad Stevens will find your replacement rather quickly. Have you ever had a shooting stretch like this? I think it's now at this point uh, 19 for 62.